Hey, welcome back, students. Today I want to take some time to explain what a dilution is. And essentially what a dilution is, is nothing more than reducing the concentration of a chemical. Okay, And so it doesn't matter what you have in terms of a solution. Essentially what we're looking at is the moles of the solute that's being dissolved in that solvent. We're going from an area where you have more solute to an area that you have lower solute, or vice versa. And so let's just kind of draw some pictures here. Let's say that I had a container, and this container had a mixture here of water, and we added to this container a solute. Let's say that we added NaCl. And in the volume here for the, for the first one, let's say that we had one liter. And for the solute, the NaCl, let's say that I added to very, at the very beginning, let's say that I added two moles, or this amount here. I added two moles of this. Now, if I actually want to figure out the grams, I can actually do a mole conversion from moles to grams, and we can do that. But essentially what we've got here in terms of a con concentration for a molar concentration, we've got that we've got two moles here of NaCl divided by one liter. So we would say that the molar concentration of this solution here is equal to two molar. Okay? And so essentially what we're saying is if we use this information as our start, what would happen if we change this? So let's say that we have a second scenario, and in this particular case, we still have the solution, but now let's say that this time we change the volume, so now we have a V2, and let's say that we add an additional liquid or additional solvent to it. In this case, we raise the volume to 2 liters, and we want to know what is that mole ratio for the NaCl. So what is the concentration of this second situation? So what we've got then, in the first case, we've got our M1 over here, molar concentration 1. And so what we're going to figure out is the molar concentration 2. And this is going to be equal to some number X moles divided by the new volume, which is, in this case, 2 liters. Now, since both of these are equal to a concentration, what we could do is we could then equate the first instance and the second instance, right? And so essentially what we're saying is if we take the concentration of the first uh, solution multiplied by the volume of the first, this is going to be equal to the concentration of the second divided by the vol or multiplied by the volume of the second. And if we use this equation here, we should be able to answer some of these problems. So in the next couple of videos, I'll show you some examples of how we actually do this. But keep in mind, the basic thing that we're trying to do is trying to figure out what is going to be that reduction in concentration from one instance into the other when we look at the differences in volume. Okay, that's all, that's all we're really doing is what's the concentration in the first instance, look at the concentration in the second instance, and go from there.